this is the last day. The last day. And a biggie. Well, uh, yeah, it's quite a long day today, 16 miles. We're back in Chipping Park. Uh, the parking spot that our taxi driver is It's freebie parking, it's good. Over to uh, Orton on the Water, which is the end of the Arthur Way. But we're going to go through some really good places on the way, including the slaughters. So, apparently, today is going to be a very picturesque walk. Yeah, I'm going to the slaughters, from what you guys have said. Yeah. Well, unless they've changed it drastically in the last two years. Putting an estate on it. <laughs> Putting an estate on it or something. Um, as I remember them, they are very, very pretty. So all we've got to do now is pick up the right route and uh, we'll be on our way. So 16 miles it is then. Final 16. Yeah. Final day. <laughs> I know. Well, we've just left Chipping Camden now and I think this is Broad Camden. Quite a nice little spot. Yes, I think it is. That's all right. Lovely tree that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the blossom on that. That cherry? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, flowering cherry. It's an old one. We don't normally see them that big. I oh, know. Just turn the corner and there's another. Lovely little row of cottages. It's going to be like that today, I think. Yeah. Road junction in Broadhamber. Turn right to continue with the Hartman Road. Yeah. I want to live in one of those. Well, we. Did a bit of meandering back there, and uh, we took a while crossing the side of a hill on a, a twisty, knobbly track with a slight slant to it. But we passed all that, and for a while, the weather went so cold that our breath was starting to steam. And this is May; it's just ridiculous, really. But it's brightened up a little bit now, and we've sorted the route out. I think we're just about to get into a place called Blockley. Just wanted to stop and capture the bright green of these trees. We've just toiled up another hill after leaving Blockley and I think we've come to the conclusion that today is going to be a series of ups and downs. Hilly. Hilly. We've already done how many? Three? Three, I think, yeah. Three decent climbs already. But we're alright. Yeah, I just think there's going to be more to come. walking through Borton on the hill and I think it's fair to say we've lost the best part of an hour now due to ineffectual instructions in the guidebook which is completely wrong and also markers that you can you can't read because they're, they're behind barbed wire and a, you know the size of a penny so we've done quite a detour over several meadows we needn't have done and then we got caught in the most massive rain shower walking uphill into the village we weren't in the best spirit no so Right now, yeah, didn't enjoy that five minute slog up the hill into the village in the rain after losing all that time. And we were making good time up until then, but of course, we've lost well a good hour probably. Very annoying, very, very annoying. I'm seething, I'm going to write an angry letter to the Times. I'm that mad. 
Sezing Coat House, or Sezing Coat House. It's got a large estate around it full of evil cattle, which they've separated from us by this barbed wire fence, which runs for miles around it. There must be absolutely bonkers cattle. Uh, Truth yeah. is, you can see, there's a lot of calves in the field with the mothers. This time of the year, they do get a bit feisty. Two strands of barbed wire, I feel safe. <laughs> well, that would yeah, stop yeah. it would stop them. I think they know it's there and they've learnt not to touch it, so... We can basically stand there and shout insults at them. <laughs> Quite safe. So, we decided to have a pub lunch. Cheers. Second rainstorm drove us in here. So we'll have a proper meal now and then we'll... Um, we'll have our pasty when we get home. Where are we? Long Longborough? Longborough, yeah. Seven miles to do it. Yes, seven miles left. So we broke the back of it. Oh, that, that rain was cold. I lost one. It's still not brilliant out there. Well, there's been a long passage of time where two things happened. One, it rained on us, and two, we walked across cow pastures, and that's basically all that's happened over the last, well, it seems like hours. It's probably two miles or more, maybe three. Yeah. Uh, from the end. I don't that, know. It can't be that far. Really. You know, I, I give up doing this on walks because I think, oh, it can't be far. And then you end up doing another five hours. So I'm just going to say that we must be getting close. Right, I think. We're just entering Lower Slaughter. Yeah. So we've got Lower Slaughter and Upper Slaughter. And then the next stop is Button on the Water. But how far that is from Upper Slaughter, I don't know. But it's been a, a drag, really. It's been okay, but it's just, you know, the rain hasn't helped and... You know, endless cow pastures are not the most interesting of walking, to be honest. Walking on the water where we finish? Yeah, no. Yes. It is, isn't it? Well, lower slaughter, from Hyde Mill at the top there to Bolton on the Water is only 2.8 miles. Okay. So that, we've got to be about a mile to go then, once we're at lower slaughter. Up we go, uh, don't we do upper slaughter as well? Apparently not. No? Yeah, just, okay. just lower. Oh, uh, we'd better find out where we are. Oh. Slaughter's uh, United Cricket Club, if that helps. This is the gate we go through. Well, we're just going through Lower Slaughter, but not sadly Upper Slaughter. We're not going to see that, which is the old mill and the little bridge. So it, it's still lovely here, but Upper Slaughter is uh, probably the prettier of the two. And the route doesn't take us that way, sadly. However, if you look at this sign now, Button on the Water is next, and that is Journey's End. It's turned five o'clock, so I don't think we're going to get back much before seven at this rate. There's, that is Button on the Water now, so we are imminent. Although, of course, we might actually have to wend our way through the streets for a while, but that's that's the end point, that's, that's Bourton. <laughs> Shame we didn't get to see Upper Slaughter though. I bet the first thing Sue will ask is, did you see the bridge? Yeah. Uh, no. no, we didn't go there. We didn't go Upper means we're flying at this stage. <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't want to. Yeah, we've done our fair share of climbing today, haven't we? Yeah. We're okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll film when we get to the end. Here it is. This is the high street of Bolton and Water, and uh, somewhere around here is the end. Well, you don't know, dear. You might just stop. It might not even be a, a marker for this one. Go on, then. I'll find something that looks like it might be the end of the way.
Doesn't appear to be anywhere. Yeah, just says the end. This is button in the water, in the rain. Seems funny we've finished. They don't know bother about it, do they? Well, there isn't really an official end, so we can choose wherever we like to be at the end of the way, and we chose this bench. As good as anything.